Hey everyone, welcome back to Never Fate Gaming. Uh, I, of course, am continuing through Final Fantasy VIII, where we last left off. Um, I was in Essar. Uh, technically, we had just crash landed back on Earth after saving Renoa. Uh, Renoa was gonna have her power sealed away forever, so we broke her out of jail. Um, at the end of last episode, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, but we're gonna do we're gonna do one little thing this episode. Uh, as soon as I remember how to fly forward. And land. Okay. So I pointed out the deep sea research, uh, facility. Surprise, that's what it's called. Um, and there's a lot of interesting, uh, challenges and encounters here, and... Guys, what is this place? Hey, I know this place. Know it all, Zelda the rescue again, baby. Ready for a little story time, Squall? Let's hear it. Okay, here it goes. This island's most likely that mobile research facility. Huh? AKA Battleship Island. So, what did they research? Basically, they were trying to develop a new draw system like ours. They probably traveled all over the world to gather different energy and materials for their research. I don't know how the heck it ended up here. I heard they did some hardcore research here. They even used GF for experiments. To science geeks, it was Treasure Island. Hmm. Huh. What, you think I'm BSing? No. Maybe I should give this guy more credit. See, Zell becomes infinitely more important as the story goes on, which is to say slightly important. Alright, here's the hard part. Uh, this is why this will probably be an extra episode and not, uh, looks like it's been abandoned for years. What is that big blue thing? Whoa, it's moving! What an awful light! Let's check out the core. We might find out more about it. <laughs> I don't know how to read. The blue light leads to death. Turn back. Are you serious? Alright, so that blue light's hang time was pretty big. I don't want to fight these things. Screw seed ranks. I already know how to break the game in every other single way. I'm out of here. Escapeed. Uh, yeah, so basically, if you move forward while that blue light is shining, um, it sucks. It really, it's not fun. Alright, so blue light's got a lot of hang time. It flickers out a bit. This is, this is, this is my life now. We got this. Alright, it's really simple. It's red light, green light, one, two, three. We all remember kindergarten. Did I still play that? That was 30 years ago. Uh, you have perceived the resonance. Come on. Yeah, I know. It's riveting stuff, right, guys? Ooh. Ooh, snuck, snuck by there a little quickly. Snucked? Sneaked? I say snuck. Come on. Any day now. Oh, wait. I was supposed to go towards it. I'm trying to walk past it, aren't I? Really? You're gonna, you, you wrap it up, you ramp it up as I get closer. So you wish to challenge me to a fight. It's not our will to fight. Doesn't matter. Automatic battle. Encounter none or not. We're going in. Also, it's a ruby dragon. Remember I told you these guys were kind of a nightmare? Well, they're back. Zell, attack. Zell uh, also has a lot more uh, damage now. 
We are going to draw... No, we don't want to draw from the Ruby Dragon. We want to magic the Ruby Dragon. We want to... Uh, let's get an idea for scan. Let's scan the Ruby Dragon. Scan the Ruby Dragon down by the sea. All right, that's not it, is it? Uh, all right, so it's got 1,200... Uh, 11... 11,000 hit points out of 1,200. Alright, so... Let's try and keep that number in mind, shall we? Squall does not have more damage, as you can see. Uh, oh, Fyra? I thought that was Flare. I don't care about that card. Never know, you could get lucky early on. Uh, let's say that was another 1,000... So every time this thing takes more damage, come on, facey slash, gotcha. Uh, it'll get easier to card, uh, turn him into a card, because uh, this thing is worth like 1,200 EXP. It's not, it's not worth anyone's time. Slashy slashy. Yeah, why not? Just try, just, just kind of let go. Ta 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 Keep trying to card him. Could, you, you have, like, I don't know, at this rate, probably 20% chance. Have we burned through 20% of his health? Maybe not. Maybe maybe it was only 10. So, yeah, this is what I do off-screen, guys. Uh, I was I was thinking of doing all of this... All of this off-screen, actually. Carded! Receive Ruby Dragon card. Sorry, buddy, but you're, uh... You're not legal here. Gotta kick you out of this establishment. Uh, we got that Inferno Fang, which I think like a dozen... Oh my god, Ifrit Learn Boost. Leviathan Learn Spirit. Uh, begging for mercy? Uh, never. We never beg for mercy here. Alright guys, you know the drill. Second verse, same as the first, only this time... Uh, I'm gonna cut it out. <laughs> Because you guys know what ha- Oh, we back up back attack, though. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. See, nothing's happening. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. See you guys in a sec. It is done! We have uh, turned the Ruby Dragon into a card again. And got 14 more AP that I can't redistribute to those people that just learned something last round. Um, 14 AP again. Speed, he's gonna go from speed plus 20% to some other garbage, like, guardian force. Alright, uh, damn imbeciles, why do you wish to fight me? Uh, none of your business, or... Secret. Secret! We've got a secret! It's secret time. Damned imbeciles, why do you wish to fight me? For the sake of protecting something? None of your business? It's our nature. There is no real reason. Maybe we were born only to fight. That's right, we just got into some Gundam philosophy here. About why humans fight and what their whole shtick is. Uh, so anyway guys. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Another ruby dragon? No. No, it's Bahamut. Uh, I figured I'd show you I am Bahamut. The great GF Bahamut? GF? I? Using my powers. It is you humans, I fear. I don't know where I'm going with that voice, but I went with it. Oh, I forgot to Gumblade. Whoops. Um, Flare... Stock, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to do there. Uh, so obviously, this battle is going to take a while. Much like the Cactor battle that I cut, because that took like... freaking 15 minutes of just fighting one Cactor. Uh, oh, by the way, I have the Cactor King uh, Guardian Force. I forgot to point that out at the start of this episode. Uh, well, I'm going to keep drawing Flare, if you don't mind, unless you do a million damage. Oh, you do a lot of damage! Alright, alright, he's in yellow. You know you know the deal. We're going to duel it out.
Have you seen the light? Yeah, just duel them out. Wouldn't I didn't even have to cut this. Um the King Cactor had way more hit points. Uh, we got Hyper Wrist, uh, Guardian First Forces, not Guardian Firsts. Uh, we got Bahamut's card. Uh, 40 AP, just going all over the place. See, Summon Magic, Guardian Force hit points, Summon Magic. We don't need that. That's nonsense. Uh, Why, well, yes, we will just keep him named Bahamut. Or she, or it. I don't know. I don't know how it, I don't know how it rolls. And you know what? None of my business. Another path to your destiny awaits. You are indeed an interesting one, brimming with passion. It's the, it's the it's the voiceless narrator of Kingdom Hearts. That's fantastic. Uh, all right, let me fix up some stuff real quick, and then I'll show you I'll show you what's down below. All right, one thing I want to show you guys real quick is uh, Bahamut has rare item, which I just equipped uh, so that he'll learn. Basically, increases rare item drop. He has forbidden magic refine, which is I think like holy ultima meteor. Uh, he also has the a coveted ability times four, so he gets slot four ability strength plus sixty. Also, I completely forgot to point out at the start of the episode, I have the Cactor. He doesn't. He learns luck of uh, luck junction, evasion junction. Defend is okay, Kamikaze, uh, initiative, move HP up. He learns all the bonuses, uh, which, like, sh every time you gain a level, you get strength bonus. It's, it's handy if I want to get to level 100. It's, it's basically a free, uh, 80-something, you know, from grinding out levels. It's like a free 80-something points of strength or something. So you don't have to junction all the, uh, the, your best spells to strength and use strength plus 60%, stuff like that. All right, uh, we have to step out for a moment, uh, because there is no, there is no thing. There is no thing there. Uh, we need a thing to be there. So we are running back to the, uh, back to the, what, what you would call it, the Ragnarok. That sweet dragon spaceship airship we got last episode. That they said has fuel, but guys, you never have to put fuel in it. Uh, Alright, we need to go into the cockpit. I don't know. What do you got to say? I wonder how Matron is doing. What is she doing from now? Um, you know where we going? Uh, yeah, okay. Selfie, let's go. I think this should... Um, oh, I forgot to start my timer again. Alright, uh, alright. I think... I think just talking to, like, literally anyone should, uh, cycle this, this through. Um... Not cycle, but I don't, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Alright, there's a save point now, which is handy. Uh, also there's a big giant vine thing! Uh, where are we? Do I have move find equipped? Because that'd be really handy. Actually, let's... Oh, hold on, we're gonna talk. We's gonna talk. Alright, first of all, I love this environment. Oh, I could run around. Uh, Dispel. Mm, Squall seems the only one that is capable of holding any Dispel. Uh, let's go into... I don't know, Junction? Junction! Ability... No, he wouldn't have it. It would be... It would be Renoa. Yes, Renoa has moved fine, so all of the... Uh, all of the handy-dandy stuff will pop up. Zell? You want to talk to me, bud? No? You just gonna look at the fishies. What is that? Looks like it leads down. By the way, I wonder what that is. You're right, what is that? There's a terminal buried underneath the rubble. Hmm. Is it still functional? Level energy system, reserve steam pressure at 20 energy-wise. It is possible to reach the excavation site. Explain the situation? Sure, why not? We got time. We're killing time. Uh, alright. So, due to low energy, it's difficult to access the path, lower levels. Um, current level is 1. Oh my god. So much to do. 
monitor display. Current, preserved, steam, 20%. Remaining energy displayed right now, 20 of 20. Energy type reserve. Oh my god, guys, this puzzle. This puzzle. Wow, there is so much reading. Alright, so we had to do that. Opening door to level 2. Alright, alright, that sounded like a gimme. I think the next ones you have to decide how much energy to allocate. Let's go! Okay, I don't know how much to actually reserve. Uh, mm. Well, you know, can't remember how to do everything. Are you sure? Yes. Why not? Opening door to level three. This could all be horrible. It could just, everything could go wrong. Steam everywhere. Why is everything steam powered in this? Could I, is that not the right way to go down? No, it wasn't. That wasn't, it was just the wrong side of the staircase. That is fantastic. Uh, is it this control scheme again? Uh, one. I don't know, are you sure? Yes. I don't know how you could add zero power to something, but... Burn. Come on! Let me get down there. Wow, that was a complete miss on my part. Why do I keep missing the staircase? There we go! Oh my god! Level 6, that wasn't so bad. 1, sure, why not? Let's just keep going 1. Opening door to level 5. Alright, so you guys get how this going. I'll see you at the bottom. Hold up a sec. Let me take care of this machine here. Well, Zell's pretty good with machinery. This is also why I bring Zell around. He triggers a lot of things. Uh, Irvine actually triggers an event if you revisit Windhill, but it's kind of a cheesy event, so I never really recorded it. Uh, sure, go for it, says Squall. They call me the machine when it comes to mechanics. Leave it to me, baby. This must be it. This has to be... This is it, right? This ain't it. Hey, there's steam coming out of everywhere. Okay, okay, just let, let me think. Yo, this is it. This has to be it, right? I never should have asked you. I didn't want to have to resort to this, but... See? Zell makes everything better with his fists. Opening door to excavation site, ocean deposit. See, there you go. So machine meaning fighting machine. Oh, wait, that's Squall. So machine meaning fighting machine. Well, as long as we're in. Uh, all right, let's go to the deep sea research facility. Her. Look, it's a place. It's full of unavoidable monsters. So guess what, guys? I'm going to fight all these unavoidable monsters, turn them all into cards, and I'll see you at the bottom. Right at the bottom of this place. All right, we are down at the bottom uh, of all of this nonsense. Uh, it was just, just stone steps after stone steps and auto battles. Like, stuff you can't get around. Uh, so I turned, like, a hundred different monsters into cards. Uh, Steam Pressure 10 needed to continue operation. This is basically why you bring Zell with you. Uh, yeah, we want to continue operations. What was going on down here? Resuming operations. I have a bad feeling about this. Can't wait to see what happens. What's going on? Are we gonna get dinched? I don't 
don't know. I actually forgot how long this scene was. Excavation resuming. All except the leader must take shelter. That's odd. Warning, please take shelter. Alright, we got it. We need to take shelter. There is no sanctuary. Anyone? Anyone? No? No one got that one? Logan's run. Okay. The rocks are resonating. Well, technically they're not rocks. They're probably some sort of uh, mineral deposit or crystal. The air's pretty heavy. It's a faint heartbeat in the distance. Oh, hey, look, it's a giant monster. Uh, Ultima Weapon, punch Ultima Weapon in the face. Draw from Ultima Weapon, Eden. Acquired Eden. And completely missed my Gumblade shot. Come on, let's let's duke it out. We can't turn him into a card. However, we can we can stock. You know what? Let's cast Ultima. Let's just see it in action one more time. It's not like I gotta turn this thing into a card. Uh, so no matter how much damage we do, it's going down. Well, maybe I can turn it into a. No, can I? We could try. Wow, that was a mighty huge explosion for that. That's why Meteor is better. Uh, naturally, I healed everyone right before I came down here. Oh, Quake! Quake might... Quake might change things a bit. Kerplunk. Alright, okay, okay, alright. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay. Life. On Zell, assuming she survives. Yeah, we knew Zell was Zell was Zell was out. Oh, if he has level death, I'm also in trouble. I forget if he has level death. Level death is you have X amount of where am I? X potions for Noah. So if you have level death, it's like level death 4, and any level, any character who has a level that's divisible by 4, is dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to see if I had Meltdown. Uh, Meltdown's a great spell that basically, uh, it tanks, um, a person's defense. Anyway, I'm gonna speed this up. Burning Rave! Uh, yeah, so, as you know, um... I tend to speed all that up. And I'm not sure if you caught the numbers, but some of those were like 3,000 to hit. Like, some ungodly number. Alright, okay, alright. Light Pillars is probably... Who's gonna die? Squall's gonna die! Alright, magic. Full life. Squall. Anytime you want to duel, that would be great, bud. Alright, you know the drill. Gonna speed this up again. Super speed. Ah, oh, I messed up the finisher. Really? Alright, this thing's dead anyway. Who knows how long this episode's gonna be? I have so much editing to do. It, like, I had to stop recording because it literally takes, like, almost an hour to get down those stone staircases with all the auto battles. Anyway, that was the Ultima weapon, and honestly not the strongest weapon-type boss in the game. Ooh, foreshadowing. There's gonna be a super, super weapon boss somewhere later in Disc 4. Maybe, I'll probably show you that. Yay! I won! It exploded! 
damn right uh, EXP acquired zero. I don't want none of that. Eden's card received 100 AP. Oh my god. Totally forgot that was a thing. Yeah, everyone's gonna learn something. Wow, okay. Well, that was the quick boost I needed. Uh, we were going to keep the name Eden. Uh, confirm. Eden's got all kinds of goodies too, guys. I'll show you that off, uh, I'll show that off to you next episode, probably. Uh, cause I got a, I got a lot to, uh, I got a lot to do around here. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna run all the way up these stone staircases again, off screen. We will see you next episode. I might do one extra episode before we continue the story. Uh, cause there's another little thing I wanna show you. Uh, at any rate, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!